Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, today we're going to look at my uh, Frank E Cork Bark Jade or Porch Lacaria Afra. Um, I think the last time that I looked at this was a couple months ago, maybe a little bit longer. But at this stage, I bought this one last year. Um, and when it came in, just as a refresher, if you haven't seen my other videos, it was it came from a, a bonsai online retailer, but this, the trunk was very straight and it had a bunch of other branches on it. And it, the top was really basically looked like a lollipop. So all the branches were kind of pointing up and I'll see if I can put a little picture in here for, for reference as a reminder. Um, so I've taken a lot of branches off of it, um, wired some down. I've still got some guy wires pulling some of these branches down that I did on the last session and I'll link that video below so you can go take a look at that just so you can kind of see the progress of this tree. Um, I still have some wire on it holding some of these branches down. Like I said, this branch here, for example, was probably about at an angle like that. So if you can just imagine, again, I'll have that picture up there for reference, but these branches were sticking straight up. So it just kind of had a lollipop look. So I, my goal was to bring some of these branches down to get them as horizontal as I could. This one here is pretty thick, so I couldn't get it bent quite down, but some of these secondary branches I was able to kind of flatten out into some pads over here. So um, still kind of gives the illusion of some width and some flatter horizontal branches, which makes it look like a, a more mature, older tree. So um, that's kind of where we've been. and. And then today, it's been growing on my bench. Last time, I needed more growth in the back, so I had the backside facing the sun. And you can see a lot of the, the branches have kind of grown that way. The front doesn't have a whole lot of growth on it just because it's it was facing away from the sun most of the day. So today, I'm just going to go through and prune some of these shoots up um, and just further refine it to see if there's any any other branches that I need to look at, maybe prune. Um, so let's just get started. Like I said, I'm just going to take some of these long shoots back and you can see that since I pruned it last, this is kind of growth that, that I've gotten and it's, I think it's been just a couple months. So a lot of, a lot of good vigorous growth on it. And when I have trees like this that have just kind of grown out, I'll just go through and quickly take each branch back and do a rough profile prune to kind of get it into shape. And then go back in and see if I need to, to refine it and do anything more to it. But overall, I'm pretty, pretty happy with, you know, how far this tree, tree has come in just a year of um, development from when I got it. So, and this is one I mentioned last time, don't want to dwell on it too much, but it did have some squirrel damage, but it's, it's healing up now. 
Um, I took a branch off here and that's healing up nicely. And it is starting to, it's not really fully corked, but it is starting to develop that, these little fissures and just kind of rough looking bark. So that's, that's a good sign. I'm looking at this branch here. It, it comes out, but then kind of tees off, and one's kind of pointing straight out and kind of down. I don't really care for that over there. I think I'm going to get rid of that for now. I could bend this one down just to kind of change the direction of this branch. Which I may do in the future. I'm not sure I'll do it today. Might give me something to work on as we get into the fall. We got some new branches coming off of this cut point right in here um, where I took a branch off. So it, it's wanting to regrow. And I don't know that I really want it to there because it's kind of a bar branch to the other side so I think I'll just keep that pruned off <clears throat> and just clean that up a little bit like I said today was just more of a quick maintenance prune and just, you know, I take this time to also inspect the tree just to make sure there's nothing going on with it, any, you know, bug damage, anything else going on that might be a little, a little concerning. I'm not really seeing much. There's a few spiders on it, but the tree's been outside, so that's to be expected. No big deal. Just kind of looking through the top to see if I've got many crossing branches or anything that I can address now. Yeah, it looks like I've got some. I've got these two branches here. Uh, you can see that one's coming up here and then it wise off and then one right behind it that comes up and it's got several little branches that come off and they're kind of overlapping each other. So I think what I'm going to do, since this, this branch here kind of goes up and helps develop the apex of the tree and this one here the second one is kind of in the way, and I'm just going to further develop this branch that's coming out here up to the side. So I think I'm just going to get rid of this, this vertical one here and leave the other vertical one since it's kind of helping shape the, the top of the tree. Just to unclog that area a little bit. Got some congestion back here, a few crossing branches. So this one's standing up vertical. Get rid of that. I'm just kind of looking at it, you know, from front to back, um, just to see the the depth and the shape, just to make sure it's all even and it's it's looking pretty good. Like I said, there's the there's the front there. Um, yeah, so pretty happy with it. Um, I think I'm going to leave these guy wires on 
until probably the next pruning session, then I'll check and maybe try to get those removed to see if they've held. And none of these wires are biting in yet, so um, I think we're good to go to leave those on. Yeah, so I think uh, I think that might do it for today. Um, just a quick prune, quick maintenance. Just kind of check over the tree, and everything is looking pretty good so far. So we'll we'll let it be for today. I'll give you a quick spin around. There's the front. There's the left side. There's the back. The right side. And back to the front. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.